Good morning children. Now we shall learn about symmetry. But first, let us recognize few pictures. What is this? Here we see a part of full image. Can you recognize what it is? It is difficult to tell. So, let us see the half part of it. So, this is the half part of the picture. Now you might have guessed what it can be. To be 100% sure, let me give you a hint. The left half of this image is exactly like the right half. Now can you tell what it is? Yes, you are right. It is a butterfly. Now let us see another picture. Just the half of it. What is this? Can you guess? Here again the left half is exactly same as the right half. What is it? It is the famous Taj Mahal. Now can you tell is there any similarity amongst all of these? Yes, all are beautiful. Some are natural and some are man-made. But the actual similarity is in each of this one half is identical to the other half. Like here the butterfly if we see the right half is identical to the left half. Same way in the case of Taj Mahal. These two are identical halves. Meaning they are similar in size and shape too. And this is a beautiful flower. Here again this right half is identical to the left half. Not only the shape is same but even the size of both the halves are similar. So when the two halves of an object are identical meaning they are similar in shape and size like the right half and the left half of this leaf is identical. Same in this case of flower both the halves are identical. Such objects are called symmetrical objects. You know in the nature you will find a lot of symmetrical objects like this sunflower. Then look at this peacock which is the national bird of our country India. If we see the feathers they are arranged so symmetrically. And what about the house of the spider which is web? This is also symmetrical in nature. And you know to find the symmetry you don't need to go far. Look at your home. All the festive decorations done by your mother, sister, aunts and grandmas they are all about symmetry. See the beautiful colored rangoli here. Not only these but even the flower decorations done are symmetric in nature like this and this and so on. So we find examples of symmetry everywhere around us. Remember in the story the wizard was crazy about the symmetry. If you remember the entrance of his magical world was symmetrical. It had the skull on both the sides. Even the door was symmetrical. 
and what about the magical wands he used they were all in pairs and symmetric in nature and now you must have understood why was the wizard angry when he saw there were three flowers blooming outside the entrance of his cave this is because the symmetry of the entrance was lost hence he plucked the flower and made the entrance symmetric also if you remember even the statues were broken into symmetric parts so the wizard was really crazy about symmetry so remember children what is symmetry when there is exact match in the shape and size between the two halves of the object it is said to be symmetric like the two halves of this leaf the two halves of the flower and the two halves of taj mahal monument so now you know what is symmetry now can you tell is this shape symmetrical in nature let's try to do it if we take the two halves of this mango then this is the half now if we make exact copy on the right side what do we get this doesn't look like a mango so we can say this image is not symmetric so the objects like mango scalene triangle where we cannot divide into two halves exactly identical or similar to each other then they are called asymmetrical objects like the mango image is asymmetric and the scalene triangle is asymmetric in nature remember in the story the children were very happy and amazed to see such realistic statue of the vegetable vendor but later they were shocked as the statue was just the half statue and it appeared to be full due to the reflection of the statue on the mirror the real half of the statue and the identical reflection made it appear like a full statue such type of symmetry is called mirror symmetry so if a mirror is placed along the line at the middle the half part of the figure is reflected through the mirror creating the identical half such that two parts appear similar this type of symmetry is called mirror symmetry understood children so now you know a lot about symmetry some objects like this butterfly are symmetric in nature as it has two identical halves which are same in size and shape whereas this object is asymmetric because this image of mango cannot be divided into two halves such that each half is identical to the other that was all about symmetry bye bye children